Hello everybody, we are back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild and today we've got something that I never thought I'd be doing and that is we're going to be using one of the worst scopes or I guess sights in the game. I wouldn't even consider it a scope. It's more like a, a red dot sight, but it's uh, not great. It's the Red Raptor Reflex Sight and this has long been the least used optic in the game and I really can't think of any scenario where I would have wanted to use it. It's just, it's just not good. Now, I do remember them mentioning that this would get a rework at some point, but I don't know when that will ever be or if they're still planning to do it. It was quite a long time ago that that was mentioned, and I don't know what else has been brought to their table since there's been a lot of issues with bugs and stuff like that, but I'm hoping one of these days this site will get a rework because I'd like to be able to use it, but as of now, it's just, it's, it's, it's not great. The reticle is incredibly large and it's very blurry, uh, it's not easy to see through it, it's, it's just got a lot of issues that hopefully will eventually get resolved, but as of now it's just not very useful and um, another thing that's a big problem is the sensitivity is absolutely atrocious on it. I typically play with my sensitivity for ADSing at around 70% and that's really good for most scopes but for some reason with the Red Raptor Reflex I had to crank it all the way up to like I think 160 or 170% and even then this is like a full swipe on my mouse pad so it's still not super great but I mean it's a little bit better but the only problem with that is now if I try to use my binoculars and zoom in all the way it's like incredibly fast and I can basically 360 with it. It's uh, <laughs> not exactly ideal and uh, that's one of the biggest reasons why the Red Raptor is never used. Uh, that combined with the terrible reticle and the just blurriness of it in general. But I thought it might be fun to take this thing out today and just see what we can manage to do with it with it being kind of a difficult site to use. We are out in multiplayer on Rancho Del Arroyo. We might end up changing maps at some point, but for now we're just going to stick to this map and see what we can find because I really want to find myself another diamond pheasant or another rare. That's two things that I've been wanting really badly uh, as of recent and we definitely need to find some more of them eventually. But if we find anything else, then, you know, that's pretty awesome, too. Let's go ahead and try to take out one of these whitetail, though. Let's at least see if we can. It's so hard to actually uh, look at... Th oh, oh, gosh. Yeah, it's not possible. We're not doing that. Although, you know what? <laughs> we might as well try it, I guess. We'll, uh, we'll just see if it's possible. Hold up. Wait a second. How come I'm just now seeing this as I'm editing this video? For those of you that don't understand what we're looking at right now, let's just uh, zoom in a little bit. Yep, that is a bugged great one in multiplayer. So for those of you that don't know, right now they have pretty much completely fixed that bug where great ones turn to level 3s or 4s or 5s. But there is one occasion where it can still happen, and that is if you're in multiplayer. So for example, if somebody has a great one on their map, and they open up a multiplayer session, it'll still be a great one for them, but for anybody else that joins the session, it will be a bugged level 3 like this. So, we basically just found another bugged great one, and I didn't even realize it because I'd never looked at the level. I just looked at the deer and thought to myself, yeah, that's a small level 2, let's try to take a shot on it. I didn't actually realize realized that I was looking at a bugged great one so in a way I'm kind of glad that uh, what's about to happen ended up happening because I would have felt really bad if I had shot somebody's great one off of their own map and uh, not even got to see it as a real great one but this is why no matter what you always want to look at an animal's level you never know when you might be looking at something like this and just not even know it so it's always good to at least take a quick look but uh, let's get back to the video I can't see any way that this will work out well unless we just get pre-aimed on it and hope that that's good enough. Did we just do that? I think we did. I think we actually did that. Oh. Uh, we might as well take her out as well since she's close. Yeah, this thing's not easy to use, even on something that close. I was having trouble knowing if that was actually going to hit, but it looks like it did. And this was the close though. We ended up getting a double lung. It was pretty perfect, to be honest. I honestly could not have asked for anything better than that. I think that's probably the best shot we're going to have all day with this thing. 
And it actually looks like we completely missed that first deer. There's no hunting pressure whatsoever. However, they did end up coming back, so there is a deer right there, and it's a pretty decent one. Uh, we'll at least see if we can hit this. Uh, once again, this is going to be terrible, but... Did we get it? But that's actually a pretty good pheasant right there. We'll definitely try to take that thing down. It is a molting 2 to 3 kg. I don't think that has a chance at diamond, but... It's at least a decent one, and of course it's flying off. We'll see if we can hit it with the 22. If we end up making this shot, I will be incredibly surprised. Yeah, I don't see that happening. I, I definitely don't see that happening anytime soon. Oh, there we go. Let's see if we can get a couple of these down. You know, this might be the only scenario where this site is useful, is for something like pheasants, but... I still don't think it's worth it when you have to jack the sensitivity up so high. But at least it has somewhat of a use with the pheasants. Because they are most likely going to be pretty close to you when you're taking shots on them. As long as you're not using the 22. So I can kind of see an argument to use them on the pheasants. But it's still just not as good as using iron sights, I'd say. Unless they give it a little bit of a revamp. I'd like to see something similar to what Escape from Tarkov does with their uh, red dot sights. I think they do a fantastic job of making them very realistic and usable. Unfortunately, the one in Call of the Wild is just not quite there yet. Let's see if we can get this one as well. I don't think we hit either of those shots, but there is one more next to us, so we shall see if we can get a shot on her. And you know what? Let's actually just blast her with the 22 before she gets away. I think we got her. <laughs> I think she's dead. But this was our decent size level 2 molting, 2 to 3 kgs. Definitely hope this thing will be at least close to diamond, and at 1870, it's definitely towards the top end of that estimate, so that's good. First shot only hit one pellet, second one hit seven, so we definitely needed that follow-up shot to get it down on the ground. And there's that poor little bird that we lit up with the 22. I'm curious how many shots actually hit. I guess it was just one of them. We hit the right tarso metatarsus. Uh, say that five times fast. It's uh, quite the interesting word for foot. But, you know, that uh, tends to be how a lot of birds and other animals are. They always have such strange names for everything. Well, that right there is an antelope jackrabbit. Uh, they tend to always have an issue with fleeing away, so we might as well take advantage of that and just blast it with the 22 long rifle. Go ahead and pick that up. Gives us uh, another opportunity to use the 22 with this weird sight. Well, there's another pheasant. I don't know if we're going to actually be able to get a shot because it just went into the trees, but at least we know they're here and we can hopefully catch them in the field. And there's a male off in the distance. Oh, there's actually some a lot closer than I thought. We'll uh, see. Oh, there we go. If we can hit one more out of the air. That would be amazing, but I don't even know where to aim. Oh my gosh, we got it. There we go. Oh, there we go. There's another one. You know, I can't even lie. This is actually kind of fun. As annoying as it is to set up to where it'll actually be useful, and as weird as it is to have the binoculars be super sensitive it is a lot of fun actually I'm enjoying this and we should only have two more down this is a common that we shot with the 22 and I believe this right here should be from probably the last one we shot I couldn't imagine the 22 not killing it instantly but I mean maybe it can this is yeah this is the 12 gauge birdshot one so it flew a little ways but we did end up getting it down and since I've had a lot of questions about where to hunt pheasants, I figure we might as well show you guys real quickly where I've been shooting them this video. We started here, we shot one of them down here, or actually two, we got down below the lake, and then we killed a couple around this area, we moved up, killed the rabbit here, and then we killed a couple pheasants right here. So, uh, pretty much all of the area above the lake is really good, and all of the area below clear down to this outpost. Then you also have this stretch of road right here that's really good, uh, this area above this lake, and then the entire area down here in the south. All those spots are really good for pheasants. We've got another pheasant about 20 meters in front of us. We're going to go ahead and take this guy out, and then I think we're going to move kind of back towards where we started. And that is because there's actually a 
another spot that I'd like to go for pheasants. And then after that, we're going to try and go somewhere else for different species. Uh, it'd be amazing if I could hit this, but unfortunately, it's not that easy with the red raptor. But at least we tried. This was the rooster out of them, so this is the one that mattered. 1410. It is a molting plumage type, but not quite a gold, unfortunately. Well, they flew off way sooner than I was hoping, but there is some more pheasants. Let's see if we can just bop that guy with the 22 and we'll get a couple more even. Well, we got two of them. I don't think we hit any more than that, but I'm honestly surprised that we got two. Uh, the first shot hit way quicker than I thought it would, and we just crashed. That's fantastic. Well, <laughs> back to the drawing board. Well, we actually have a bunch of pheasants in front of us now, so I'm not all that mad that we ended up crashing because this is quite a few of them, and three of them are roosters. So that is even more perfect. Let's uh try and do our best in all the lag. I think we at least got that. Very slim chances that we'll hit this, though. Yeah, it ain't happening. You know, that was really good, and then it turned really bad the second that they started flying away. The second they flew away, the frames dipped, and it was all over from there. But, I mean, at least we got one of them. It could have been a whole lot worse if we had just completely missed on this guy. But we did end up getting one pellet, so it at least took one of them down. And that is actually one of the roosters right there. Let's see if we can just get him out of the sky. Oh, might as well get him while he's about to be grounded. I don't really care too much if he gets a grounded score. It was just a small one. But here is this uh, poor little molting pheasant. It unfortunately was grounded, but it wasn't a big one regardless, so not that big of a deal. You know, since we have the chance here, let's see if we can get a coyote. I don't know how difficult this is going to be. It probably will be one of the hardest ones we've had yet. But I think we can try it at least. And yeah, we hit nowhere near him at all. That one, though, we did end up hitting, just not great. And we got that shot as well, but once again, not great. Oh, that is a pheasant over top of us. Might as well take that out if we can. And we definitely did. And that appears to be another pheasant. And another one. I don't even know where that shot went, but we definitely didn't hit it. But at least we got a couple more pheasants down. Unfortunately, none of them were really anything crazy, just a bunch of hens. You know, even with two very poor shots, this uh, coyote did not run far at all. Looks like we ended up hitting flesh on the first, and then we got, well, yeah, pretty much nothing on the second as well. So this could potentially be our first decent thing of the day. These have a decent chance of making diamond, so we might as well try and get that. This is going to be a crazy shot to make, but I think we can. I have no way to really tell until... I look through the binoculars and uh, we definitely didn't get it, but I think it's actually flying towards us. This is going to make it easy. If I could aim. Did we get it? I think we might have. And in fact, I think the first shot might have hit it. Okay, I did not expect that, but it looks like the hunting pressure is farther back than I was expecting it to be. I think we hit that first shot. Oh yeah, we we definitely hit that first shot. That's crazy. I did not expect that at all. And it is a gold, but 204 meters, it just barely, I, I guess, clipped the foot or maybe a wing. I can't even tell. It looks way off, but we got it at least. Wow, that is actually a really rare sight. There is two mythical coyotes side by side. That's crazy. I never see multiple mythical coyotes together that's insane there's also a seven but i'm more interested in the two level eights so it looks like the mythical in the back is the highest score estimate 54 to 60 this front one is 51 to 56 so we will take out the back one first if we can we're getting really really close so i think soon we'll be able to take a shot and in fact we might have to now because they are starting to realize that we're here so let's zero to 75 and are we are you kidding me Oh, there's no way that just happened. There's no way. That has not happened to me 
in so long and I can't believe it just did when we were sneaking up on a mythical coyote. I'm kind of mad. Kind of mad, not gonna lie. That's uh, that's really frustrating. You know, honestly, that is so frustrating. Of course, out of all the times that I've been prone and been completely fine, this would be the one time that we're not fine. But maybe it'll put us in a better spot because we're now hidden in this bush and we're gonna wait for them to come back and let's get Hunter out of the way because he decided that he was gonna stop in front of us. So let's just get him out of here and get back to our spot. Well, one of them has come back. I'm hoping that the others are close behind and it does look like they are, so at least we're gonna get a second chance. And this is honestly gonna be much easier. Much easier shots to make. Now we just gotta wait for the other mythical because that's the one that I really want. But well, there it is right there. It stopped right in front of us, so I guess let's uh, start blasting on these. I'll highlight that little dude. Well, we hit it. And he unfortunately stopped. And I think we hit a tree on that shot, but we did get the one that we were hoping to get. So that is awesome. We just took ourselves a level 8 coyote with the worst sight in the game. And it ends up being a 5580. That is a pretty big coyote for sure. Would love to find a rare coyote of this size, but unfortunately I never have much luck with the coyotes. We've only killed one rare on our main account and it was unfortunately just a small piebald female. Well, let's see if we ended up getting this other one. It looks like we did because it is dead right there. And that is actually a medium bleed rate, so maybe we hit it a little bit better than I initially thought. And this one's a 5430. Unfortunately we got vertebrae, so that's why it didn't die a little bit faster. But we got both of those down. Can't really complain too much, even though that second shot was not great. So I think for the last portion of this video, we're going to do something that's actually going to be quite a lot of fun. And in order to do this, I have come back to our single player map. And I think this is going to be a lot of fun. We're heading over to the crater, which for those of you that don't know, it's this little crater right here. This area is an insane zone for the collared peccary. And... We're going to head over there with the 454 with the Red Raptor Reflex Sight and just take out a bunch of them as they run out of the crater because this is one of the few locations where there's probably like 40 or 50 collared peccaries in the same spot and they only have one way that they can leave the crater. And we're going to head to that entrance right now and just blast them as they come out of there. Now, I will eventually have to get a stand of some sort there so that we don't create too much hunting pressure so for now we're going to just take I think three of them and then we'll set up a tent and a stand and then reset the time and take out some more but we should start seeing them run out of the crater very shortly and in fact I can already hear them running a little bit yeah we already have a few of them running out let's uh get up here while we can oh my gosh all of the peccaries <laughs> they are everywhere and just like that we got one of them down See if we can get any more of them as they're running off. Looks like these are pretty much all females, unfortunately, but we'll still get a few of them down. And that is two right there. That hunting pressure is looking pretty bad, so that's going to be the last one for now. But I will end up putting a tent here, or uh, not directly on top of this spot, but close. And then we will eventually come back over here with a stand and see if we can get some more of them taken down and oh my gosh do not want to die to them that would not be good let's uh try to get this one before they just completely wipe me out but there is our last collared peccary and it's just crazy to me that you can take these things with the 454 and have it be completely ethical give you full uh harvest checks on it it's pretty insane. You don't even really have to aim hardly at all when it comes to like trying to aim for vitals. You can just blast at any angle and you'll probably hit a vital. So let's go ahead and try to find a spot here for our tent. I believe, yeah, right there is gonna be a spot that we can actually place it. Now let's grab the stand and bring that over there as well because this is about to be a crazy spot to take out collared peccaries and probably a pretty good spot to make money as well. All right, so I went ahead and cleared some hunting pressure and now we can finally come back here 
and do round two of taking out these colored peccary at the crater. Now hopefully we'll get most of them to come in the same direction they did last time and yeah that is a four there. Uh, let's try to get the four if we can. That is a beauty right there and there's a bunch of them coming out as always. Unfortunately it is pretty difficult to actually get them with the uh, weird red raptor sight and they're actually starting to come in a different direction it seems although there is a bunch of them coming up in this direction now. I suppose it would definitely help if I could actually hit them. There we go, finally actually making some shots. You know, it's honestly harder out of the tower, or uh, out of the uh, tripod than it was on the ground, that's for sure. So we're not getting as many as I was hoping to, but as always, lots and lots of javelina. So hopefully by the time we're done reloading we can actually get one of them, and there we go. And I can't aim any farther down, so we're just gonna have to work around that, but... My shots are not as on point as I was hoping that they would be. And that is unfortunate, we missed that last one. But I think there might still be a couple. I mean, there's at least that guy running away right there that we can try and get. Well, we at least got a few of them down, so let's go claim them all. I don't know how many of them were any decent ones, so I guess we'll uh, just show off the decent ones since we did shoot quite a few of them. There is a level 4 108.50 and we absolutely destroyed that poor thing. Well this is the last one right here and unfortunately I think that level 4 was the best one although we did get an ochre male right here and the ochre is probably one of my favorite fur types for the collared peccary. I'm still really jealous that Flinter managed to get one of those. Hopefully one of these days I can get a diamond ochre as well but as for now we're just gonna have to settle for uh, all of the small ochres that we end up getting. Alright everybody, I think that is going to be it for this video. It was actually pretty fun using that site. As bad as it is and as difficult as it is, it was actually quite a bit of fun to use it. We'll definitely have to do this again in the future, so if there's anything that you guys would like me to do with the Red Raptor Reflex site, be sure to put it in the comments down below. And if enough of you want to see another, I guess, uh, sequel to this, then we will do another video on the Red Raptor. But with that being said, if you're brand new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, click the like button, and ring that notification bell so you guys will never miss a video. It really helps the channel out a ton, and I cannot thank you guys enough for all of the support. Also, be sure to leave a comment down below, like I said, on whether or not you guys want to see some more with the red raptor and yeah if you guys want to see it then we'll do it but with that being said thank you guys for watching and i will see you all in the next video peace